Welcome back. In the second part of the video, we're going to expand our knowledge on the torso and the pelvis. If you remember from the last video, we looked at the basic structure, which is a, you know, almost half ellipse and a trapezoidal shape that represents the pelvis. And this time around, we're going to add a little bit more information to this drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the midpoint and this is going to establish the location of where the ribs line up, right? And let's put our uh, little handlebar, our little clavicles up here, and let's make a connection. So this is going to be our uh, primary mode of modality here. We're going to have our uh, pectoralis here. Then we have a rib cage. And what we can do with this is if we consider what this might look like from, say, a top-down view, then this particular structure here is going to look something like this. So let's now see how we can uh, take this and apply this, this knowledge here. So we've got our line of action. We're going to find the midpoint. We're establishing the location of the actual ribs themselves. We have our manubrium. We have the clavicle, and then we're going to draw a line that goes across like this. And this is going to represent the pectoralis and the scapula that's kind of in the back. And of course, we have our pelvis. Let's draw this from a, a different angle. So find the midpoint, draw the ribs, draw an opening for the neck, manubrium, clavicle, and what happens over here? So we've got stretch, and we have pinch. This is the gut, right? So the gut's going to have a lot more flexibility. And just to give you a, an idea of what's going on here, this is uh, where the upper arms are. Let's move all this stuff over. And let's consider uh, expanding on what we've just talked about. Let's look at it from our back view. There's the scapula. There's our neck. There's a small of our back. And for right now, we'll just keep the arms very, very simple. I'm just drawing the arms just as a representation so that you understand exactly where we are in this particular structure. Um, and the other thing, too, is you're going to have a side view here. There's going to be some extra musculature over there. So. What we want to do is we want to be able to think about how this entire upper section actually moves. So let's consider a situation where 
uh, our arms are raised. So we find the midpoint. So you can see that this thing is going to stretch up. If we want to lower the arms, again, find the midpoint. So the arms are lowered. Now, in terms of um, the pelvis and the butt, if we look at the back view, it's kind of look like underoos a little bit, but you've got basically your glutes. They kind of form this particular shape. And you've got the legs. Um, let's take a look at what's going on with the back with regards to the scapula. So let's hide this layer here and make a new layer above it. do here just to denote the back. This is our back. And this is the spine. And this is our arm. Our upper arm, and this is the neck coming out front. And so, this is if we were looking at the structure from the back. So, practice that as you continue to work through your forms. Um, keep in mind that you can go ahead and add twist and stretch. Something else that might be helpful on this is when you're thinking about twist in terms of the body, uh, draw little arrows that kind of help you out with regards to conveying twists. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and twist the pelvis in this direction. Right, and then you can find your landmarks. And then add your gut. And don't worry about the body for now. Oh, the other thing too is if you've got some curvature here, where say you're tilting over onto one side, let's just consider that scenario. So. Again, find the midpoint here. Then if this is our pelvis, the part that is being compressed, in this case we're tilting over in this direction, the part that's being compressed is going to be pinched. The other side is going to be stretched. So I want uh, you to be aware of the fact that the gut section has a lot of flexibility in terms of its overall movement. Um, I'll stop the video here for now. Let me know if you have any questions on this stuff um, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.